Hello and welcome gorgeous Taurus. I hope you're all doing well. Let's take a look at your cards, see what spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition uh, throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards. If you do take notice of that, there's a message in here for you. So there's a message from a loved one in spirit or your angels. You will have insight, there will be guidance, and you will find a purpose. Answer the call, explore, travel, and live. So there may be travel coming up for you, or maybe it's just recently happened. You're exploring different options and speaking to different people. Looks like there is a new opportunity or possibility opening up for you. Go with the flow this week, let go, rest, and you can manifest better in this state. So try not to hold on to something that is bringing you down. Reflect on what that might be, whether it's thoughts, self-doubt, whether it's a situation that you don't want to be in, a conversation you don't want to be in. Let the negative energy go and rest, and then you can manifest something more in alignment with you. Connect with animals, animal spirit guides, healing and past pets. There may be um, something happening here with your pets this week. A greater connection, uh, perhaps. There's a connection with a past pet that will come through in a dream or, or something will happen where it will remind you of this animal. There's also healing that animals will bring you or, or a particular animal, um, whether it's... Um, uh, physical, mental or emotional um, contact with this animal um, is going to help. Um, and healing in other ways as well. You may be a healer, it might be your profession. Um, you might need healing um, in some way and that energy is available to you. It's going to come through an angelic force as well, I see for someone The intimate dance of beliefs and emotions. There is strength in numbers. So there's a community. There is a togetherness. There's a transformation happening in your life where you'll be connected. Connected to more people or new people or deepening a connection with the person that you are around at the moment. heart, mind, a transformative space. You make a difference. You're going to be making a difference in someone's life this week. There is no doubt about that. You're going through a transformation at the moment. And I saw that with the butterfly symbol here. So this might be in your personal life. Maybe it's your work life and career. But no matter what area of life this is, spirit has got your back. There might be a dissonance here about a choice to do with your heart and to do with your mind. You're not sure about a decision. Okay, so it's about um, reaching to that higher source, to God's source energy and connecting in there. And that's where your answers will become clear. The connection, take deep breaths. Perhaps it's connecting into self more through meditation. Perhaps it is a, a new connection being made with uh, someone in life that's going to help you or guide you or just be uh, there for you in a friendship capacity or a love capacity. There's a connection, a union, a bond, maybe a new contract being written up. Allowing success and good fortune into your life. Part of a greater collective. Okay, so success and good fortune is coming in it's flowing in that's life-changing this energy is going to affect different areas of your life get ready to it for this energy of blessing to affect all different areas get ready to have success and victory in many areas of your life beautiful energy
So we have the energy of regret. I know that I cannot change the past. There's something you're regretting, perhaps. Um, and if this is the case for you, if it resonates for you, know that there's a release. There's a letting go that needs to happen. So you're not held back by this energy. You will have courage to move forward, even if something unfortunate has happened recently if things don't seem to be going to plan you will find the inner strength to face fear with confidence and surrender i can release my need to control this might be hindering you in a relationship a personal relationship so there might be anger or discord that's created because of a need to control so if you recognize that in yourself or in a relationship it's time to release that energy you can do that consciously this week balance i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment so something is out of balance is to do with surrendering okay or acceptance or surrendering to what is Synchronicity is going to happen in your life. So keep a lookout for this. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world have been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Give back. Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. So you will know um, when this energy is there, when you're needing to give, when you're needing to serve, when you're needing to say something or do something for someone. It might be a child, child's love. There might be a dynamic here between you and your child or grandchildren. Something important happening here. The love between a parent and child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and form their first cries. And from their first cries, they establish themselves as the bigger part of our hearts. You may be the child here as well, okay? So there might be a dynamic with a parent happening here or, or a connection being made. Strength. Strength comes from many sources. Say staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul and strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. the healer of emotion this is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions you may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights you or another person is a kind tender-hearted loving and trustworthy friend so follow your heart your Usually when this card comes up, there's a feeling that you might be all mental. You've got some uh, stress or worries going on mentally. So it's asking you to drop into your heart center. The nine of emotion. This is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. You do have success and victory, a win here for you coming up. It may seem that good luck is following you, which is true. You've got good fortune and luck following you at the moment. But actually, these happy times are your just reward for being a loving and wonderful person. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and have more fun. Five of action. So your angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. You'll definitely know if that resonates for you. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. A guardian of emotion. 
The situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You're surrounded by those who have only the best of intentions, so you can rely on the advice you're given. Challenges will be resolved. This card also indicates a generous humanitarian and refined person whom you can completely depend on. This could be a reference to these characteristics within yourself. So if you, you don't recognize these qualities in someone that you know, be assured that you have these characteristics. You can depend on yourself. The messenger of thought, a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully this week. You know we'll meet or ask someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. So we've got maybe a teacher happening here, energy or a student energy. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. So perhaps someone in your life here is going to be blunt with you, not very diplomatic in their communication this week. Embrace those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you, making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. Let's see what the pendulum says. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. The answer is yes. Check in with your heart and see if this resonates. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.